Hi guys, it's Matt here, and I know it's been a little while since I made a video, but I just wanted to touch base, and today I wanted to talk about transphobia, which is not a very fun topic matter, I admit, but it's an important one. So if talking about transphobia is going to make you uncomfortable, or if you don't believe in transphobia, then by all means, get off my video. Uh, I wanted to talk specifically about the increase in hate crimes. I'm going to focus on transphobic hate crimes because it's something that I think I can put my I can put my two cents in about that one. But hate crimes in general, uh, sexism, racism, xenophobia, homophobia, and against the disabled community have all increased in the UK in the past year. I've always been sceptical about transgender visibility. Conversations and public opinions about transgender people are becoming more and more commonplace. There needs to be this conversation in order to promote visibility and inclusion in public spaces and the media and society at large. Erasure in the LGBTQ plus community is nothing new and visibility should be celebrated as a step forward for us, because we have come so far. However, when representation of the community is mishandled, it can spread fear-mongering and misinformation, heightening the danger of discrimination. I would like to use the example of a Channel 4 series I saw recently called Genderquake, um, it, it was interesting, but I don't feel like it encompassed the wider transgender community as a whole. I know in particular non-binary people are incredibly underrepresented. There was a statistic I read, um, so I read two articles in The Guardian and The Independent, and one of them had, I'll, I'll put the, the links down below, one of them had a quote from Stonewall UK, and it says this, it says, Trans people in Britain face huge levels of abuse at the moment, with two in five trans people, so that's two in five, 41%, having experienced a hate crime because of their gender identity in the past 12 months. So that is almost half, almost half of all transgender people in the UK over the past year have experienced a hate crime. That's, that's a ridiculous number, and there's clearly not enough being done about this. The number of transphobic hate crimes being reported to police has actually decreased, whilst each year the number of transgender people experiencing these hate crimes are increasing. So this could be a fear of repercussion or a distrust in the authorities, a belief that nothing will come of it, but it's incredibly dangerous that these crimes aren't being reported because without the evidence there that this is going on, nothing can be done about it. Something that both articles I read included was the use of the word victim, which I've kind of like deliberately strayed away from. I think transgender people are often victimised, but in my mind, to call someone a victim denotes helplessness and an inability to act in the face of difficulty. Um, so I've, I've strayed from that one. I believe I can talk for the community at large when I say that we will not weaken under abuse. We will come together and only grow stronger for it.